Welcome, this is round 7, uh, Magic Online Extended PTQ, watching Bender 3 vs. Higdur, um, round uh, 7 undefeated players, a winner should be into the top 8. Um, matchup is uh, Blue-White uh, Stoneforge vs. Bant Stoneforge. And uh, kind of slow start for both, but first, turn, first action is a Mirren Crusader that gets uh, mana leaked. Solid Pride Mage does resolve. And Jace bounces it. Pride Mage comes back down. Uh, Jace plus twos. And the Judgment gets rid of the Pride Mage. And a second Pride Mage comes back down. Jace brainstorms and Stoneforge Mystic shows up, fetching the Sword of Feast and Famine. Elspeth gets spell pierced, and Jace bounces the Pride Mage and swings with an equipped Stoneforge Mystic. Let's see what discarding mana leak, untapping his land. Pride Mage comes down. Interestingly enough, activate Meta Vault and Swing, and Band Charm takes care of the sword, but uh, Path to Exile gets rid of the Pride Mage. Seem you know he does down to. One uh, one card to two, but there's a Jace. It's a preordained. It just doesn't look very good for him. Plus, there's a Celestial Colonnade uh, here. At least can swing into Jace, try to take it out. And if Cryptic Command doesn't show up, sure enough, Cryptic Command. Place a Bosk. Preordain. Stoneforge Mystic for Sword of Body and Mind. Then he, let's see, fate seals to avoid a lethal celestial colonnade. And bash for three. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, these small guys are swinging in for some action. And Kitchen Pink shows up. Elspeth uh, comes back, and uh, Marion Crusader. So now there's a little bit of action. Uh, Jace bounces the Marion Crusader. Sword of Body and Mind shows up and swing. Block the Sworded guy and Kitchen Finks number two. This colonnade swings at Jace. Get rid of the blue planeswalker. But a second one comes down. Oh, that's terrible. Bounces the Crusader. And team swings again. Kitchen Finks number three shows up. And Colonnade once again uh, shows up to take out Jace, but now we've got a Marion Crusader versus Army, and Cryptic Command taps it down, and that's swing for lethal. And that's game one. We'll come back for game two. Stay tuned. We are back for game two. Um, players have uh, reversed. Uh, we got uh, Bant at the bottom of the screen. Uh, turn one, Birds of Paradise. Turn two, Birds of Paradise. Uh, that should be interesting. If there's a Stone Forge Mystic with Mana League backup, basically, with three mana open. Problem. The birds could be a problem just because they fly and can get equipped fairly conveniently. But uh, must have had some sick read here, or he has his own mana leak because he just uh, goes ahead and plays Elspeth. Pumps the Stoneforge. 
That can't be good. Mana leak for Vendillion click, and then uh, Day of Judgment to wipe the creatures on the board, but they're still an Elspeth. There's Sword of Feast and Famine, and a Soldier token. There's Sower of Temptation. That'll give you some blockers for the sword. There's Pride Mage and another Soldier. And doesn't equip. So le uh, representing Mana Leak. Activates Flyers and Mita Vault and Swings. Interesting swing here. And I'll spit down to two loyalty. Guess he didn't block. So oh, something else is coming down. Second Sower of Temptation. And sure enough, there's the Mana Leak. Now we suit up the Pride Mage. Pump the Pride Mage. Oh wow. That's a big guy. Untap. Does he have any action or are you just gonna pass the turn? Move the sword to the pride, to the solder. Sun Titan comes down. Uh, let's see targets, kitchen finks. And Van Dillion click and Ariad Mesa, I guess, if it need be. Uh, he's targeting the Ariad Mesa. He just uh, wants to increase his mana. That's interesting. Ooh, Path to Exile comes down. Taking out the Soldier token. And that will allow his team to take out Elspeth. Unless there's a band charm. Oh wow. And uh, yes, now the Elspeth can pump uh, Pride Mage, Hierarch, and Sword can deal the six damage. So uh, match is even at one. And uh, stay tuned for game three. We're back for game three, uh, round seven <laughs> of the Magic Online Extended PTQ. And alright, uh, early stone forge mystic, early Kosali Pride Mage. And the beat start. Okay, uh Pride Mage swings for four damage and see if it gets through. Yeah, it sure does. And a sword of Feast and Famine comes into play. Attempts, uh, well, it does equip. And Path to Exile takes out the Stoneforge Mystic. Interesting. <coughs> and crack back for four again. And just uh, going for the beatdown. And no. Action uh, here uh, seems kind of odd. Might make me think that there's a Vendillion click involved or Cryptic Command. Uh, let's, um, let's see what he's doing. Tapping his mana here. Oh yeah, there's a Cryptic Command uh, and uh, returning the Qua Pride Mage, yeah, but just gets cast right back down. There's Day of Judgment, and you know, Pride Mage takes out the sword. Let's see if uh, Higdur can put some more pressure to try to finish uh, Bender out. Searching with the Rainforest, see what happens. I got some Murmuring Bosk. Another Fetch Land, and here's Knight of the Reliquary, and here's Mana Leak. Which he can pay for. But that's got him tapped out. Five cards in uh, Bender's hand. And what's coming down? Jace the Mind Sculpture bounces the knight. And this game is uh, turn sides really quickly. And Bruce of Paradise. All right. So now Day of Judgment comes. And then Bray and Jace. 
Brainstorms and uh, Celestial Colonnade, Kitchen Finks. Uh, this uh, matchup has turned around very quickly. Another knight comes down, but I'm not sure it's going to be able to. Oh, yeah, Sun Titan. Uh, with, I guess, the possibility of getting the sword back. That's really the only target. That's a good target, mind you. Does he equip? Yeah, sure enough. Equip, and it's got protection from green, so knight can't block if there's no action in his hand. Oh, that's this card. This card's a forest, but now the knight gets bounced, and this game looks like it's over. Unless there's a day of judgment that could have resolved. Sun Titan alone is just so powerful. And there's a path to exile on the night. And that's game. Good G G G G. Good luck in the top eight from Hikdur. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, just uh, finished the academic and uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll bring some uh, round eight action next.